hey hi in this video i'm gonna show you how to use amazon athena query to query amazon s3 bucket containing huge list of json files say that you know you want to query the raw data present in the you know huge list of json file which are being being created or being you know being stored in amazon s3 bucket right so this ppt depicts my demo here i'm gonna show you like a scenario where your application is dumping huge list of json files in a amazon s3 bucket now on those huge list of amazon s3 bucket you want to run certain analytics certain queries or, or you know you want to do certain you know reporting say so in that case you can leverage amazon athena query tool to extract or, or you know basically to convert those raw json files into a structured table in the amazon athena query uh, uh, service and from there you can use it to run the required analytics queries against those data in the sense here we are actually converting raw data into a structured data on that structured data now you can run uh, sql queries or any kind of analytics or any kind of reporting options also you can run it on those uh, you know the structured data here right so that's the main aim of uh, this video also with that note i will just directly take you to the my aws account so this is my aws account and currently i'm in amazon s3 bucket uh, page currently i don't have any s3 bucket so i'm going to create a two s3 bucket one to store the json file i'm going to show you like and how does my json file looks and how does it looks after converting into a structured data right so here let me put my bucket name something like s3 raw data athena right so i'm going to keep everything uh, other configuration as default i'm going to create it now so this is the bucket which will be hosting our you know uh, some list of json file containing the json object informations yeah i also need one more bucket that is uh, which will be used by athena query service itself so let me say it has a output table something like this yeah so we are creating two buckets for this demo yeah all right so i'm going to um, create the another bucket now let me as as part of this demo i have uh, some raw files some raw json files which i'm going to you know basically upload these this files this json file into that s3 bucket and then from there we're going to use the athena query to convert this raw into a structure and then run the queries right so here this is an example json file which contains some data like this three data that is sensor id current temperature status so basically sensor id current temperature data type is int and status is equal to ok yeah the status ok is nothing but a string here so here let me just open the another file so all file contains the same pattern i believe that you know this could be the same scenario for your application right so in such cases how do you leverage the athena query to convert these raw data into a structured data right so that's what our aim is now let's go to the um the s3 bucket which i created here we're going to upload those three files uh, to create the you know the application side saying like this s3 bucket is hosting all our list of json files which we want to convert into a structured data and then we will run our queries okay so far now i have uploaded those three files as an example files for the demo and these files are getting uploaded as you see here this is completed now let's go to the athena query side right so currently i'm in my same aws account so currently i'm in oregon region so go to the oregon go to the your service go to the your aws account and search athena in the service option so this is how it looks so basically here this is the you know the service where we actually do a certain configurations and finally we see that you know the those json file raw data will be converted into a structured data and we can run a query from here that's the main aim here right so first one we need to create a work group so go to the work group work group option here click on work group creation first give the work group name saying like uh, json query i'm just giving my work group name as json query right and then rest all options i'm gonna keep it uh, very simple yeah so rest all option i will just keep it uh, very default yeah so i think while you are configuring this one we, you might need to configure the you know, the locations for the um, so this is the query result options in the sense uh, uh, when we create a work group work group needs and uh, basically a space in the sense this uh, this work group needs a space where it can store the processing information right so that's the reason we have created another bucket so you just need to browse the bucket and choose the another bucket which we created for athena query you know just result storage purpose yeah so this is just an bucket which will be used by 
Athena query service. Yeah, so I'm just keeping that uh, to this to this bucket. So this bucket is not hosting our JSON file. Remember that this is another bucket which we have created for for you know for helping purpose. So let me keep the options like this and rest all configurations. I'm gonna keep it default as I said. Right? If I can uh, scroll up down the line and the tag options. Okay. So everything I'm just keeping it as a default one. Yeah. And given the work group name like JSON query. So I'm going to create this work group now because so while it is creating, let me tell you. So to configure the data source, you need to build your own work group, which is recommended. Okay. That's the reason we built our work group name JSON query. Now I'll go to the data, data sources. I'm going to click on data sources. Uh, click on the uh, data. So currently I have default and test DB. Now let me add one more data source. Okay. So to create the one more data source. I'll go to the data source page. So cl just click on the data source and be here. And there is a button called create a data source. Yeah. So here you can choose the, yeah, maybe S3 bucket. So basically this is, this is for actually, you know, so if you want to go for S3 bucket directly, so you don't need to commit here, but this is an option where if you want to query the further services of AWS saying like, um, Say like document db open search yeah so this is our like a stuck you want to query the further structured data itself right this is what the option comes in here so i'm not going to that options but but let me go to the directly go to the query editor so from the query editor we can actually build our own table so here as you see currently you know this is the query editor option so here there is no uh, work groups so you need to switch the work group which we created so remember to do this and click on a json query so json query is a workbook which we created just now yeah so with that options currently the data source is let it be like aws data catalog only and the databases is let it be default database i'm going to create the database right away so there are other options like tables and view options okay click on expand this uh, tables right now there are zero tables so we're going to create the zero table so there's a drop down here in the create button say create a table from the data sources so here in our case my data source is, is s3 bucket so i'm going to create that so the table name let me give it as a s3 table yeah s3 json table let me give it as a meaningful name so s3 json table is my table name and uh, we're going to create the database as well just to keep it segregated right so table db let me give it as a db yeah so here in the data set here the option we need to give the s3 bucket where we kept the json file yeah so click on a browser and here the first s3 bucket that is s3 hyphen raw data hyphen athena is our our s3 bucket where we are actually keeping the raw file so if i go to this one so this is the bucket name and underneath that we have uploaded three s3 sorry three json objects yeah or three json files so here we have uh, set the data set equal to something like this so i'm going to keep it uh, a forward slash in the sense you need to keep the um, basically yeah so you need to keep the information something like this in the sense uh, the path of our s3 bucket should be like this so there are certain inputs are being given from aws you can read it that and then here go here we need to change the data format in the sense here our files are json files so we need to choose the proper options here so table let it be apache hive so here in the file format, we need to choose the JSON. So in the JSON, you have a nested JSON as well, which eventually supports the, the normal JSON, which we have opened, right? In the SRD library, so let it be, uh, you know, the the JSON first option only. That is, um, um, yeah, let, let's keep the JSON SRD options only, right? And then, so then the keep the rest options, that is the SRD options, uh, mapping everything keep it default you don't need to do anything here then go to the columns so columns is nothing but you know um your json file should be following certain patterns of the key value pairs right so in my case my three files are following some key pair values so this file contains sensor id current temperature and status the other file also following the same key pair you know the key value pairs so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create each key as a column and the respective will become a value right so here in our case the first key is sensor id so i'm going to create that as a column first column and the volume value of it will be int why int because it contains the number right similarly current temperature so current temperature will become my second column 
and the value will become still int because that also contains the only int values the status so status would contain warning okay something like that so we're gonna keep the column name equal to status and the value equal to a string so i'm gonna copy the uh, column name that is status yeah and then uh, value equal to string right so so this is the very important step this is where we actually judge this you know how does your table looks in the athena query so whatever the information that you want to extract from the json file keep the column name like likewise and the column type likewise yeah so with that option rest all let it be default and click on a create table so once you click on a create table it will from the backend it will generate a database a table underneath the aws data catalog source yeah and uh, you should be seeing some um, you know table getting populated here so as of now based on your based on the options that you have selected while creating the tables generally the aws itself this athena query itself will generate uh, basically a query right so if i go back i'm going to close it so it created a query called query 2 right and and it when when it basically how does this query generate generates is whatever the options that we have given while creating the table and the we have given the s3 bucket and we given the tape uh, you know the database name then we gave the column name right so based on those only so it has created a table you see so create an external table if not exists so this is what the table it is getting created with a column like sensor id current id and status id which we have provided from this data and following these properties and it is actually pointing to the s3 bucket where we have created so run again i'm just click on the run again basically it just creates a table if it is not exist so you we need to refresh it to see the table if the table is getting created or not so basically it looks like table is not yet created so we need to switch the database right that's the reason um it was not showing the table so i'm going to switch to the database which we have uh, created so this was the database which we given that is um, s3 json um, json table.db underneath that our table got created that is sensor id um current temperature and status okay so first one here it is doing couple of things one is it is creating the table it is also declaring the schema schema this is a schema declaration then it actually you know actually loads the data present in that s3 bucket so the s3 bucket contains three json files from the json file it reads the content and and you know puts those content into this table it has already done we can check the queries so with this option you know we have loaded in the sense we have converted the raw json file data into a structured table called s3 json table and now data present in those files should be available for us so what you do is you know you're going to run a preview table query so here what is a table query is select star from um, s3 json table db dot s3 table and limit 10 okay so if when you run this query it actually returned the output that is the the content of those three files are being now available in the form of a table right so from here we can do a reporting we can do a query analysis you can do a you know, real time your data analysis you know with using the data analysis you know you're going to gain the the real insights and all right so there are multiple options here like you can copy download the results yeah so not only this you can run a further you know sql queries on this table yeah so basically here we have run select star from so but also you can do multiple things saying like you know select the records from the uh, table this is the table where the sensor id equal to 24 23 so likewise you can run a n number of queries which will eventually basically you know yeah if i can minimize this to show you in a single page so this is how it looks yeah so if i run it again generally it will show you the result that is our table in the form of a table right so here what we have achieved is we have converted this raw json files into a structured table and now we can query the structured table according to our need right so what does this mean in the sense we have converted the raw json file into a structured data and on the structured data we can actually query the you know apply our queries or do analysis okay all right so with that note i have successfully shown you the things need to be shown in this video finally i can request please do subscribe my channel that would really encourage me a lot so with that note thank you thanks a lot and see you in the next video